Hello and welcome to Saturday of MCM. I normally only do videos on Friday, but uh, quite a few of the videos I've actually done really well. So even though I, I'm kind of repeating a bit to show you all again, but I thought I'd start up here. I'm actually in an area you can't always actually get to. This is a balcony you'll be able to see up here. There is some other cosplayers up here. Uh, I'm not going to film them because they're like, they probably want their privacy. Um, but yeah, this is just like a really nice view. You can get up here, you can just see everybody coming down. I really mean, use this a lot in the promotional stuff. So we're going to have a little, another little wonder. We're actually going to have a little wonder outside. It was absolutely packed. Uh, yeah, things are calming down now. Right, let's head back down to the main convention hall. And here we go. We're back down on the bottom floor. I just noticed the S2 is in rave mode. So we're just gonna have another laugh at Brown. Unfortunately, I will not be here Saturday. I think. There may be a few short little videos, but apart from that, this will be the end of our MCM coverage this year. It has actually been a really lovely con. As I said, not quite as good as it was before the pandemic, but definitely a huge step forward. And if things carry on like this, and from the sounds of it, there is lots of lots of not lots of hopeful we're looking good we're looking good guys i was a bit worried before this con about things let's actually have a look through the pops i'm not really a pop guy but i understand there are people are people like different things and i bet pop people get really annoyed it was just like oh you like pops I would say this one to you guys, that's saying. I do think I do like about boxes. They, they, they have so much variety. And I do like things like that. Oh, they've got the American office, they've got Jack, they've got Dry. <laughs> I actually was watching some of that last night. Like, I have one of those 24 hour channels that just shows the American office like non stop. And they were actually, they showing some of the episodes from season 8, which I really couldn't get through. So it was actually kind of nice because oh I was actually God. watching it for the first time. Yeah, I could just can't stand Robert California as a character but uh, there is actually some funny lines there's some funny lines but just, just, just me personally I was just like oh this character is just so annoying and obnoxious like I mean that was their biggest mistake by uh, oh what's his name they should have got the guy from um because he appears in the episode before the guy from um Arrested Development the guy who played Bojack I've got his name He's really a funny guy and he would have done a really good job taking over from Michael Scott, I think. Oh my God, someone's got like the Wolverine skeleton. Yeah, I was saying, it's actually quite empty. I'm going to be popping out. I think I, I said yesterday I was going to go to the chicken shop but I ended up, I was like, oh no, I got to go and edit and stuff. So... Lucky this won't need any editing because this is just this is going to be like a cappella. It's going out as is. But I hope people have enjoyed. I've had actually a really good weekend. I've spoken to a load of people. I've spoken to a load of new fans and subscribers. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this content. Uh, people did say this is very useful. I said we're learning. I even said that today. I had a very interesting meeting with someone. And I, I admitted that, I said, we're learning. This person definitely knew a lot more than me. Ah, oh, they got the really cool Transformers. Oh, that's so cool. They got like the Optimus Prime one and the Buzz Lightyear. I mean, it's a non Transformer. So it's more like this game one here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the lowest price for Transformers was 
Lake Doramon is here. Everyone say hello to Doramon. We're so near the end of the day. Ah. I've got. I was actually noticed this door. It's quite cool. They got a lot of plushes. They got tofu cute. Tofu cute always have loads of really cute stuff. There's one store, it was really good. Uh, I don't think many people know this. They, uh, they're actually selling drinks and they're doing a melon soda float. Right. I'm a sausage roll. <laughs> giant rubber duck so I'm just as a giant sausage roll right now so you won't really be worried about going wow sausage roll people aren't going crazy I'm not eating a sausage roll I am the sausage roll I am it's actually this see let's see if we can do some oh hi everyone look at this awkward <laughs> you probably didn't see the costume so that so you wonder why people go oh wow sausage roll like everyone's gonna be like, oh, you are eating a sausage roll or something, bro. It's not. Actually, I could, I, I'd murder a sausage roll right now. I kind of know where Greg's is, and I'm half, but I think it would likely be shut by the time I get over there. <laughs> and so, so I'm just a bit like, oh, we got rival corners. I, I bought so much gun down this weekend, I bought your cars. I definitely will pick up future future time for my corners. But please do support this store, it's a really amazing store. They have done so much for the community already. It's like Oh I found the store with the melon soda floats. So I picked up some more Pokemon cards today. I actually picked up a Poker Park promo. And even the guy, when he was like looking at it, he was like, wow, like a Poker Park promo? You don't normally see them. A Poker Park was like a very short lived theme park in uh, Japan in about the 2000s, like 2005, so about Gen 3 time. So AK okay, the time when a lot of people think, I do love this pathetic going on mine. Look, even Ram has been turned small. It can make no sense to the plot. I'm sure there's some what if, if Ram got shrunk. As you said, they still have a load of the five pounds Anya. They are five pounds. I have picked one up as a gift for someone. Oh, here we are. So you can pick up drinks here. Where you can pick up the melon, the melon soda float. It was really nice. It was about five pounds. No, I want to say. Which the fact they came with a scoop of ice cream. Of course, we got stuff like um, sweat drop. These guys have been going for years and years and years and years and years. And we actually had a, we had a chat about something about a project I'm working on for a convention. I was kind of, I actually, yeah, because I remembered they would have known a lot and they, they, they knew a load of stuff and they were actually really interested. So, yeah. Oh, they got the penguin. Oh, I, I still wouldn't find out the name of the penguin. I still don't know the name of that penguin. Oh, my days. They got zombies. Zombies have been released like zombies. Like zombies are coming out. It's all happening here at Comic Con. Oh no. This is not good. This is the end of Comic Con. <laughs> also, Batman. Batman is here. 
Batman was able to the zombies. Of course, we're back at the tentacles. Queer books. It's wonderful that they are open. Awesome, yes, 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 yes. We got the MCM sign. Uh, look, there's such a line for the MCM sign. Have your photo taken. I've had my photo taken many a time. At, at MCM sign, it's like become iconic. If you want to go, hey, I went to MCM, you get your photo with the MCM sign. Wow, they even have like your Kingdom Hearts mango and stuff. I didn't realise they still printed the Kingdom Hearts mango. I'm guessing it's a reprint. I think it was like Tokyo Pop that printed it originally. So I have a peek over at Bandai store, I think. Oh, I should go via Hasbro because people like Hasbro. Really, I, I look at YouTube and people going wild. I, I, I don't. Myself, I don't normally do Hasbro, but people are going crazy over some of the stuff. Yeah, so we might as well just do a quick showcase. These G.I. Joe figures. And people are still playing Blade Blade. People are still playing Blade Blade. I love that. I love the fact Blade Blade is here. And we still got the Transformers. We got Optimus Prime. And another Transformer. I, I don't know anything about Transformers. I'm sorry. That's really, really cool to see. And of course, we've got the Disney Gunkara trading card. As you said, I picked the load up on the car very recently. I got very lucky. Very lucky, boy. Someone's come as a car. Johnny the truck, apparently. I, I don't know. And here we are, heading towards the Dragon Ball. Have I, got the pit? Have I got a thing of the um, Luffy statue? I forgot to say there's a Luffy statue. I don't think I've really got it in any of my videos. Because anyway, I've done three, two videos already. I like this. It's like skeleton pit gear. Like the detail. People are willing to go. You can see what Luffy guts look like. I like to say again, Sailor Moon will be coming to DVD and Blu-ray. And this is the Dragon Ball set for the new Sparking Zero. And here we are at the Little Nightmares 3 inflatable. I'll show you how big it is. That's... So, guys, yeah, be interested to know like what content you have enjoyed on the channel so far. We are doing these walks around. It'd be like lovely to hear what type of things you're liking to see because we don't always know what people want and people were saying they enjoyed the uh, 
first look. Some people make a decision whether they want to come to MCM. And we hope you these con these videos. Make a good impression. I know someone was asking about one of the Dragon Ball, I think Diorama figures, and let's have a look. I think these were just for display. Yes, they're coming soon. Sorry we didn't confirm that earlier. I would need to just to say, hey look, we've made merchandise for this, so be on your eye out. Like these ones down here, they have a price on them. I believe they're for sale. As you said, these are coming soon. So, I think someone wanted to see what these look like. This is what the Dragon Ball Diorama. Uh, it looks like you see a lot more Dragon Ball. I like that Goku uh, going to heaven. It's a lovely piece. Got some more. Ah, oh, I think these are some more of the coming soon. Job. So yeah, sorry anyone is it I didn't confirm whether they were out now or coming soon. Uh, hopefully we got all the really lovely ones. I noticed they moved these they've moved these all but is it I think they moved but they, they could have moved all that they got the dead fall well the Gundam line is now but whether it's all in stock by right, earlier on I was going to buy a Sylvanian farm me with my sister Unfortunately, it was literally just going out of stock as I got there. I think these have been updated. I think there's a few. I didn't see this to friendly yesterday. That's definitely not. So it's good to know these update as the con goes. So I'm guessing the more popular ones sell out and they swap them out. Oh, they got a display. display yeah okay here we go thank you <laughs> people recognizing me yeah Funny way when the staff see it and they're like, oh my god, this is so funny. And sometimes they're like, oh, I've got to go down. And they're like, having to go like through there, like find their phone. Right, I think we're going to have a little peek at the other side. I think what we could do is have one last creep looking at EGX. I was about to say CEX. Remember when CEX used to come like they would come without fail like every year for a few years and uh yeah now, now they just don't exist here uh i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing no they they had they had a good vibe they actually did have a nice vibe they normally they normally were really up for it um we're going to laugh there is the star wars booth for the new game which i've heard mixed things about um it's been out a while, so I'm kind of shocked. That thing. So, yeah, we've got some cool things in EGX. Hopefully, when this comes back, whether it'll be interesting to see this come back in May, whether they'll make this EGX always part of this. I really just need to expand this bit, and uh, maybe, because I'm noticing normally there'd be a load of stalls here, and I at least know one person who normally does have a stall here and they couldn't get a stall. 
which is kind of a shame because they have a really good stall and I know other people who really like their stall. As I can think of a few stalls that unfortunately aren't here and I think it may be part of the reason that they've like so guys MC I know these to let me take a few years but if you can make yourself a little bit bigger you're gonna probably make a little bit more money uh, oh wow we've got like animals down here oh and this is the other one the one you have to pay for I mean, I was saying it to the lady yesterday. I was like, yeah, yeah, I wonder what the people They were really shocked when they were like, oh, this is free. I had always wanted to do it, but I don't, always was like, I don't want to pay for it. That's really nice that Anime Limited did it. It had already, as you can see, the free one has an app. Absolutely massive line. So I'm gonna go back to Sneak Energy to sneak myself a drink. They were doing this uh, break the safe game. I, I played it earlier and I broke the safe with 10 seconds left, which I don't think was a good score, but I broke the safe, which just counts. running on it like so I believe they had the uh, Tekken European Cup I know next to nothing about Tekken so <laughs> I would have been great I would have just been like um, one guy is hitting another guy and um, he's happy and now the other person is hitting and they're happy <laughs> yeah that would be my coverage of uh, Tekken and here is the really really epic robot animatronic Look at that detail, I just love it. When cons. No task is impossible for a random 7134. Like, like how much detail. And like, wow, even like the grass in the bottom. Like she's even got like a little, a little. Hello, bonjour, guten tag, pajambo, hola. I am Roz in 7134, but you can call me Roz. Oh, hi Roz. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> She's like, oh god, this guy again. She's not seen my sausage roll cosplay yet. I, I just love it when cons do stuff like this. It's so cool. Here we go, Lego Horizons Adventures. Dragonborn. That's so cool. Let's have a walk out. This is us leaving Comic Con for this year. Let's see if there's anything going in the outdoor section. There's no stage outdoors. I don't think they do the stage outdoors anymore, unfortunately. I think they're not allowed for some reason, probably too much noise or something. Uh, let's go and have a look at what's going on outdoors. 
So we actually can see where we actually started the panel. If you're wondering how to get that view that we started the panel with, it's that there, the premium tree. It's unfortunately not always open. But just look for the doors. And yeah, you can get quite a nice view. I can do it. Also one thing to note is that the Costa now has these McDonald's style boards which will either make things easier or harder. Lots of cosplay around. Oh god, this is okay, a mega con live. I was wearing my Tesco cosplay. I mean, we just had some very sort of over enthusiastic uh, security guard who didn't understand it was like a gag cosplay and he thought it was some sort of advert. So I've been making sure I am not wearing the Greggs because he's probably going to think this is an advert for Greggs. And I was having, I literally was having to explain to him. And there was like another guy with me and he was like, oh yeah, cool, cool. And this other guy was like, no, no, I'm going to have to call my supervisor. And then the other guys kind of just looked at me and you know what, just, 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 just go, just go. <laughs> like this guy just, just won't take no as an answer. <laughs> so I'm glad I've not walked back into him. So here we are, I think they will be throwing everyone out soon. There we are. <laughs> so I was just checking my security. Sadly, we said this is really, really. I ended up having a. I ended up having a kind of a mini meet, or quite a big meeting with someone uh, about content and stuff. Uh, and we were out here, and I was going to film, but I didn't get the chance. It was absolutely still heaving, actually, to tell you the truth. This is actually the first time today I've been out here in this cosplay it's actually quite cold wow I realise I was playing copyrighted music I should run away from that I'm like my one weakness my one weakness as a YouTuber copyrighted music no I'm not sharing my ad revenue oh yeah one of the videos today no joke it was like uh for five seconds I think that Buzz Lightyear thing there was like a Disney song playing and it was like Disney is showing you and I'm like no they're rich enough already they're not <laughs> so yeah it's like quite a nice vibe like most years I'm not gonna lie October is gonna be a bit dead out here and uh, it's just a bit like oh it's not May. I always admit, I always look forward to May more. Because normally it's nice and sunny. It was nice. <laughs> and oh, here is the trees. And oh, someone's doing doing some lightsaber stuff. This is why it's so cool. It's just like... Normally after the ending time, unfortunately, we all get kicked out of this area. And this is, uh, I you know, try not going too far into it. This is where like all the, all the togs go and take their photos. I mean, you can get some really lovely night shots. As you can see, they got it all set up. It's quite amazing that some of the setups people have. Here we are on the famous green. They're letting us on. Some years they just won't let you on the green. I, I've known years. I remember in the pandemic, for some reason I was here. I don't even know why. I think mean, we come to visit something. We were like, oh, let's visit XL. And this has like all been decayed. Like no one had taken care of it. And it was just all like, as you can see, just people chill out having a good time lots of lightsavers lots of light parades as they i see when people go around like i go oh it's a light parade it's like the light mtm light parade 
and oh that's a, that's a really cool looking Dio shoot going on over there I don't want to get away in way of people's shoots I mean we'll just have a walk over here and we'll finish up so I guess that kind of gives us the yeah this is the end of our MCN coverage this year um, yeah this year oh no wait we'll be at Birmingham MCM I'm probably only going to be popping in Friday to tell you the truth but I'm probably taking this sausage roll cosplay we probably will have walk around we probably so do smash that subscribe button if you want I'm pretty sure I'm not at the next London Film Comic Con uh, we're actually covering an event that we wanted to cover since the uh, channel has started next week and we're going to be doing it for the first time so if you want to find out more, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Because we're actually very excited. We were talking to we're actually talking to the organizer and I think he's very excited to have us. Or have me. It's gonna be me. Uh yeah, it's only gonna be me from the team there. But um yeah, it's gonna be like a really interesting event. I've always wanted to cover this event. And I'm happy I'm finally getting to do it. I think we're going to have one last walk up and one last final look before we all say goodbye and here we are one last look at that iconic view and one final look at the XL sensor for a bit of luck we'll be back here in January for Megacon ready to cover another event and here we are we'll see so yet again remember if you haven't subscribed please do we are anime uk and we take a british look at the world of anime and this has been mcm comic con october 2024 see you again real soon Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.